It's Fayette County Fair Week on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Join your favorite Laura Highlands programs as they bring you episodes filmed at the 2022 Fayette County Fair. You'll see all the fun attractions, animals, rides, games, and food that the community of Fayette County has to offer. Look for these special shows all week long on Armstrong Channel 100 and also featured on our Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube. That's Fayette County Fair Week on Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Growing up, the annual trip to the county fair was a much anticipated event, but I didn't like to go for the rides or the food or the games. What I liked to go for was all of the exhibits and the animals that were passion projects for all of the kids who took part in the 4-H clubs. Hi, welcome to Around the Town with Marilyn Forbes. Today I'm very excited. We're going to be speaking to some people from 4-H. We're going to be meeting some of the kids who participate. And we're going to hear a lot about their projects and what they do. From bees to beef, these kids have a lot of things going on. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now we're going to start talking about 4-H and we're going to learn a little bit about exactly what 4-H is. Jennifer, sure. welcome to the show. Hi, thank you, Marilyn. And tell us, what is your title with, with 4-H? So my name is Jennifer Dykert. I am the 4-H educator in Fayette County. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. What's 4-H? 4-H. Well, 4-H is a youth development program for kids ages 5 to 18. We have clover buds that are 5 to 7. And with the clover buds, um, they're just getting their feet wet. So they're learning what different projects 4-H has to offer. Uh, and they're not competing. They're just kind of learning in a, oh, in a fun okay. environment with kids around their, the same age. And then when you turn eight years old, you become a 4-H member. Um, and then you are, are able to participate until you're 18. Okay. Now, as far as 4-H, it's not just one giant what do I want to say, units, there's right. different clubs, correct? Right, exactly. Actually, 4-H is a national program. Um, so every state has a 4-H program and it works through um, their land grant university, which uh, with Pe in Pennsylvania, it's Penn State University. Okay. We have that branch that is called uh, Penn State Extension. Um, and that is the part that reaches out to the community. So even within Penn State Extension, in addition to 4-H, we have urban planning opportunities. We have livestock educators. The Master Gardener program is run through the Penn State Extension as well. Now, when I know that when a lot of people hear 4-H, they mm -hmm. automatically think animals. They do. And there's so much more. Can there you tell is. us a little bit more about right. what, what all... It includes. Sure. So I think part of that is that 4-H uh, is um, through the College of Agricultural Sciences at Penn State. So it has that kind of connotation to it. Uh, but really, and it started in 1902, and it started for those rural youth. So they're raised on the farm, they're growing their vegetables, they're raising their animals, and how can they kind of show what they've done and have a little bit of a competition. So it did start in the ag community. Um, also, when you know you used to cook your own food and and sew your own clothes, so a lot of sewing and cooking projects as well. Um, but really, it is a, an overall youth development program that works with kids in different life skills. So, depending on whatever project area they're interested in, they learn skills like teamwork, working as a team, uh, public speaking skills, mm -hmm. time management, record keeping. So, there are a lot of those things that the kids are enjoying the activity and not recognizing necessarily what skills they're developing. Now, I did want to point out, Jennifer mentioned it earlier, and I wished I had known this growing up myself. 4-H is not just for rural kids on farms. 4-H is for everybody. It is, yep. 
Yep. So any kids between those ages can right. look to see what their local club is or, or call you folks and they can get some information on if they would like to get involved and how to do so. That's Definitely, right? yep. Okay. So we do have about 25 active clubs in wow. Fayette County. Wow. But yet there are still more different project areas that we're always willing to add. Um, the 4-H program is mostly run by volunteers. As the educator, I support those volunteers and kind of manage things, help them find resources um, and, and a, any curriculum project books to help the leaders teach that. But really, we have 100 volunteers in Fayette County and over 430 4-H members awesome. that, join, that belong to individual clubs. Uh, 4-H also has a school enrichment opportunity, so I partner with a lot of teachers in the local schools and we do uh, ag literacy programs, embryology programs, some <laughs> health rocks, yeah, so a lot of opportunity. And with that program, we've reached anywhere from 3,000 to 3,500 students within the school districts as well. And it's nice to hear too that actually participation is growing. You it is, and yes, they bought, they yes. bought a lot more indoor um, exhibits this right. year that you And actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna call this the year of the explosion because as we walk through the, through the building here, you will notice we have a ton of club displays um, and different projects. And we just, project entries came in yesterday and then this morning they were judged and it took the judges over I think nearly four hours oh to, judge to judge all through. of the projects. And uh, the judges actually still are working on that. So okay. um, it is it is quite an endeavor um, where we, we have other activities happening in here as well. So it's a busy place. It might seem a little bit unorganized right now, but by the end of the day, things will be looking really, really good. And I want to tell the folks before Jennifer and I take off here and look at some of these projects right uh, this building is actually located right past the main office right right on the right same side so whenever you first come in you want to make a left and then you guys are right here and we have a brand new entrance to the Fay County Fair there's a nice sign right at the main yep. entrance that you can see as soon as you walk through the arch take a left in the second building on your left and we're here okay well, let's see what we yep. got all right so here we have a lot of our club displays um, this is one of our more popular um, clubs and what they're actually offering is the wide variety of what they've done in the past and also what they're planning to offer. So like I said, we have 25 clubs right now, but depending on the project area, we can kind of pick up a new club at any time. If I have two authorized adults, because we screen our volunteers, and five or six kids, we can have a short term, long term, whatever project. So I know coming in the future, they're interested in a board game club and also a trading card um, game club. And then they do sewing and cooking um, and a lot of arts and crafts. So you'll see some of their projects as well. So each one um, of these boards here is the separate club. It's a different club, club. Oh, yeah. okay. So this one here there actually, we, we started in um, March and it's a good citizens club. So there were some kids that were really interested in local government okay. and community service and history. So we uh, met with some of our local um, officials and learned the process. Um, our hiking and outdoor club as well. 4-H, uh, like you said, is really known for the um, animals. Um, and we have th uh, three different horse clubs. So wow. you can, um, can, can join a horse club and you don't even need to own a horse. Um, you can take a horseless project where you learn a lot about the nutrition, the care of the animal. You can get some hands-on education as well, but you can learn about that. And then if it's something you're interested in, then you can you know, look into getting a horse. Uh, we have shooting sports, so there's the shotgun club. Um, a lot of these are crafting. Uh, this was a, a cooking opportunity. And right here, if I have my... Um, my garden club kids, oh, they're down here. Wesley, come on down, kids. Okay. What's your name? Wesley. And what, which club do you belong to? I belong to the 4-H Garden Club. Okay, and do you have anything that you entered here this year? Yes, I entered um, the squash scorpion. Oh, and you won first, is this, what is this here? I can't first have my glasses. Place. Okay, oh, awesome, and what else? And I got also oh. got the trophy. Oh, boy. That's great. Yeah. Now, is this the first year that you've entered things? No, I've entered a years for, um, things for a couple years. Oh, now. you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what do you like the most about being part of 4-H? Um, my favorite part is gardening and taking care of all the plants. And then whenever we're done with all the gardening, we can share our vegetables with the community and make stuff like jam and sometimes sauce. And then we can 
share with it. everybody. Well, that's wonderful. Good. Well, thank you. Are, are you a member as well? Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is June. June? Okay. Now, do you have something here that you entered too? I entered two things. Can you show us what they were? Mm -hmm. And this butterfly here? So you have two ribbons too. Now how old are you? I am seven. You're seven. So now are you are you competing yet? Or? Clover bud. Clover bud. So then next year you'll be competing, right? Yes. So how long have you been a clover bud? I think one year. One. This is your oh, this is your first year when you already won two. I already actually I already got a trophy. Oh, well good for you. So are you gonna keep doing it then? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you, in, are you involved as well? Come up here, young man. What's your name? Grayson. Okay, and do you have something here as well that you have entered? Yes. What do you have? Can you show me? This. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Now, how did you come up with the idea for this? Did you see it someplace, or did you just visualize it? or? I just visualized You just visualized it. Now, how old are you? Nine. So, you've been, have you been competing then for two years? And were you a clover bud before that? Now, what do you like? What, what's your favorite part of being a part of 4-H? Getting to do stuff, going oh. on field trips. Oh. For and planting flowers and, 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 and creating things like this that you can bring to the fair? Yes. Well, great. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you, kids. Thanks, this was guys. awesome. Thank you for sharing Good your job. experiences with us. Now, Jennifer, we're going to catch back walking. with you. We're going to keep All on right. walking. Thanks, thank kids. You. So besides the club displays, clubs can also put together scrapbooks if they're interested to kind of um, show off what they've done throughout the year. And then, like I mentioned, we have shooting sports. Now, they do compete in the fair, but not during the fair. So they oh, hold their competition okay. at their shooting range. But then we do have a display this year to kind of recognize who, um, who well, placed in what categories. Okay. All right. And working our way down here, we're starting to get into some of the arts and crafts. Um, so, Nate. So cute. I think Nate's going to come over. Okay, well, we have with us Nate. Hi, Nate. Hi. Okay, now Nate made a fairy house, correct? Yeah. Okay, well, you want to show us which one is yours? This one right here. That one's yours. Now, how did you come up with the idea? Uh, I was really just trying to figure out how to make something so i just decided to go with a kind of uh battle style okay i see that there I have sure a window and then i have a shield, shield, shield. uh-huh and then uh and then i have a uh, window over here so you can make it any way at all that you wanted to yeah it was okay and do you have some other things too that you entered yeah i have a couple of other things a couple other things so so tell me so how like what do you think about 4-h why do you like being a part of it well, part of it is I get to see my friends. Well, that's great. Okay. Good socialism for you then. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and then a, another thing that I do 4 H 4 is um, I really like some of the craft projects. Okay. And one time I think it, we just did freestyle drawing for a project, so... That was something else you learned. You want to yeah. tell her your big accomplishment on Sunday? Uh, I did public speaking on Sunday. Cool. That's hard to do, isn't about, it? About narwhals. Uh, yeah. Speaking of narwhals, I actually have a couple of narwhal drawings lying around. Okay. So, so um, this is my narwhal pillowcase. Oh, okay. Um, I really like narwhals. They're actually my favorite sea creature. And, um, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks, thank you very much. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Okay. God, you can hold that. That okay. makes it easier. All right. So how old are you? I'm 12. You're 12. Now, Olivia, what did you do here for us today? I have a um, fire truck succulent Oh, garden. look how neat is that? Um, I got this fire truck from my grandparents' house. Oh, Olivia, that is so cool. Thank you. So then these are all just different succulents that yes. you put in here? Okay. Did you, grow, did you grow the succulents? Yes. Oh, good for you. Now, what? this is a really clever idea. How did you come up with it? Well, 
in our gardening club, we were talking about different fairy, we've been doing fairy gardens and succulent gardens. And so I, I like to find different ideas off of Pinterest. Oh, there so you I go. Went on Pinterest and found this idea. And they have like farm, like old trucks that you can put like, mm -hmm. at the dollar store. And we were going to go there. And then my mom said, well, it'd be better, it'd be more sentimental if you had like the old fire truck from grandma's house. So we used the old fire truck oh. toy from grandma's oh, house. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, do you have to give it back or do you get to keep it? I get to keep it. All right. That's <laughs> even better. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Olivia. Uh, one thing I did want to point out here, uh, the banners that are hanging up on the wall, these are all of our last year members. So you can see that there are 19 banners up there, which um, that is one of the challenges in 4-H because as kids get older, then they start with, they have jobs and sports and, and things like that. So I'm really proud of the fact that we had 19 kids that stuck through 4-H, wow. um, you know, until they were 18 or 19 and, and kind of aged out. Uh, now the challenge will be to replace them, but then also grow the program too. Sure. But um, you can kind of look on the banner as well. When we reached out to them to create the banner, we asked them some of those questions. What has 4-H taught me? Um, you know, what, what have I learned? What's my uh, greatest knowledge gained, experience, uh, things like that. So it's, it's really great to hear. And you'll notice a lot, it's not all about winning a blue ribbon. It's about, you know, going to a leadership conference or teamwork, or like Nate also expressed, making friends. Making friends and hanging so, out. Sure. Exactly. So that's kind of what I was getting at, that it doesn't really matter what the project is. Kids are, are learning those life skills, how to interact, how to be a friend, how to be a, team, a teammate, um, and then also public speaking and, and things like that that's, too. That's great. So another thing, as I mentioned, we do like to not only have a competition, but also test their knowledge skills. Mm -hmm. um, so we have agronomists that work for Penn State Extension as well, and they came today to set up an agronomy skillathon. Now, what and is ag agronomy? Exactly, yeah. I was going to tell you that. Not many people know. Um, and I know Kenzie is here with us. She attended a field day that we had. Okay. Uh, but with agronomy, you're looking at kind of the, the combination and interaction of crops, and agriculture, soil health, air quality, um, pests, disease, and how to manage those things. Okay. So it's kind of this overall. So they did, uh, we went to a local farmer, Mike Reskovac invited us to his farm, um, and we were able to walk through his soybean fields and his corn fields and identify weeds that might be growing there, few and far between on Mike's place, uh, but then also any pests, um, and diseases that might come about um, as you're farming. Oh, so okay. now they're going to test their knowledge. Uh, but this is Kenzie Mowry Hi. and Adam Creighton. You just want to introduce yourself maybe and, and a little bit about what you do. Okay. Hello again, my name is Kenzie Mowry. I have been in 4-H for 11 years and this is my last year. I am a part of New Horizons 4-H Club where I show lambs, goats, pigs, and steers. I'm also a part of Teen County Council, and I am a mentor in 4-H Connects Club. Oh, cool. So you've been you've been involved for a long time then? I have, yes. Technically since I've been three. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So you were a little teeny clover bud bud. Yes, I was. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's hear from this young man. Thank um, you. Hello. My name is Adam Kramer. I am 13 years old, and this is my sixth year in 4-H. I show pigs and steers. And that's about it. Well, what do you like about being in 4-H? What's, what's, a, what's a, a good thing for me? I like the animal part of it. I like all the hard work that goes into it and the reward at the end, with that big show day in the auction night. That's like my favorite part of this entire thing. So you know, have you been showing for six years then? You've been doing the yes. auction and everything? Okay. Yes, I have been. And that's coming up, what, at the end of the week, right? That's yes. Usually... The now, auction is on Friday, August 5th. Now tell us just super quick, the auction, you guys all, they auction off the animals that they raise. And then yes. you get the money and that goes towards scholarships or how does that work for you? Well, it's kind of your choice what you, what you want to go with the money, but usually it goes into your next year's project or into college funds. Oh, okay. There we go. So see, that's what they do. They have a project with their animals and then they sell it at the end and they make a little bit of money and then start all over again. Yes. Okay, thank you kids. Thank yep. you. Thank you. I know you are super busy. Yes. So we are gonna let Jennifer go. Jennifer, thank you so much for being oh, with okay. us today. Oh, okay, that was good, sorry. Stay with us folks, we're gonna be visiting some animals now. All right, awesome, thank you.
Oh my gosh. Now putting this into perspective, I'm 5'4". <laughs> Hi, guy. Hi. Is he pretty? I think I can get up one now. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one's just as good. Maybe not. Maybe not as tall. Okay, we have with us Madison. Yes. Okay, and how old are you, honey? I'm 19. And where are you from? I am from Dawson. Okay, and you're going to be showing this guy here in a little bit? Yeah, her name is Marshmallow. Oh, <laughs> what a great name. Now tell us just real, real quick, whenever you go out there in the ring, exactly what are you going to be doing and what will the judges be looking for? Well, I'm going to go out there and show her to my the best of my ability, just show her off her, like her prettiness, you could say, and the judge will be looking for whatever suits his opinion that day. Oh, okay. Now, have you been showing? For years, or how? Yes, long have you I've been, been showing since I was born. Oh, so. really? Yes. Okay, so you're you're an old hand at this, and you're 19, so you're going to be done. Yes. Do you think you'll miss it? Oh yeah, definitely. And if somebody out there is thinking about becoming involved in 4-H, what would you tell them? Um, to not be scared and be courageous and just go do it because it's definitely worth it in the end. Awesome. Okay. Well, hey, good luck. I know you're getting ready to show, and we're going to be talking to some other kids. Thank okay, you. Thank you. All right, folks, we have a treat for you. We had somebody that was there last year. Now we have somebody that's their first year. Okay, what's your name, sweetie? My name is Paisley Hennessy. And where are you from? I'm from Dumber Township, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Okay, now this is your this is your market goat? Is yes. That, what's, what's her or his name? Antonio. Antonio. Now you guys showed yesterday, right? Yes. And this was your first time? Yes. So what did you what did you like about it? Tell us a little bit about what you like. How he acts and how he set up and all that stuff. Okay, now was it something that, that you enjoyed or you want to keep doing it, do you think? I want to keep doing you it. You want to keep doing it? Now, do you think next year that you might do something different or what do you think you're going to do next year? I think I'm going to do the same. You're going to do the same thing, good. Now, do you like being a member of 4-H? Yes. Now, why do you like it? Because the kids are so nice and I like the animals, like goats and pigs. Awesome. This gives you a chance to hang out with them and raise them and take care of them. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you for being on our show. Thanks. Okay. Hi. This Hi. is a special added bonus. Okay. What's your name, please? Uh, CJ Diamond. And you're from where, CJ? Uh, Smithfield, Pennsylvania. Okay. And you have, is this, this is your, your mama and babies here? Yeah. Now, how long ago were they born? Uh, they were born a week ago today. Okay. It, and now, how are they going to be at the fair the entire time, or? Yes, they'll be here till uh, Saturday or Sunday, whenever we take, tear this down and take them home. Okay. Now, uh, he was telling me here that actually one of these piglets might become a 4-H project for what the state fair you said, or? Yes, potentially. Um, we sell them all over the, the country, but uh, these ones were the right age to potentially go to the Pennsylvania Farm Show there in January. Most of the time, it takes roughly six months for the pig to. That's from birth to uh, market uh, weight, so that's six months is from J July to January, so that they're about perfect age for that. Well, how old's Mama? Uh, she. This would be her third litter, so she's two and a half okay. or three years old. Yeah. Okay. So, so then when the 4-H kids take them, then they'll take them, and you said they'll raise them about six months, and then they'll be able to be shown and. Uh, well, they're. When they own them, they probably own them about for four months. Okay. But when they're born, we will have them for eight to ten weeks, and then we'll we'll, we'll sell them, and then they'll they'll take them from then until market shows. Oh, cool! Cool. Now you're actually gonna let me hold one, right? Yeah. If they'll, okay. If they'll sit still. And they won't get that, get too excited and squeal all over. Okay. The Look at those little tails going. They are yep. so happy. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Look how special. And oh. Oh, honey, look, say hi. <laughs> oh, my Lord, can I have one? Marilyn, you're a natural. Look at you. I am. I said I missed my calling. Hi, sweetie. I hope you become somebody's project. Uh-huh. And they'll love you and take care of you. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my. Look, it's a little Wilbur. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. I think he's saying I'm done. Yep. Well, got you got him? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. All right. Good. Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the show. I did want to bring up, too, that at most county fairs, the 4-H actually has a concession stand. And all of the proceeds made from that concession stand go right back to the kids' programs. So if you can, please stop in, get something to eat or drink, and help support the program that way. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed the show. Yes, it's me in here. I'm a walking advertisement for a really great organization. So folks, please keep smiling, keep dreaming, and keep watching. It's Fayette County Fair Week on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Join your favorite Laura Highlands programs as they bring you episodes filmed at the 2022 Fayette County Fair. You'll see all the fun attractions, animals, rides, games, and food that the community of Fayette County has to offer. Look for these special shows all week long on Armstrong Channel 100 and also featured on our Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube. That's Fayette County Fair Week on Armstrong Neighborhood Channel.